Now we're going to make the uh, top of the box. And this is a template that I have here. And there's a, a copy of this in your instructions, in your printed instructions for this. So this is what you need to do. You need a sheet of paper that of your pattern card stock that you're using for the box. And you're going to cut it 11 and 1 8 inches this way and 9 and 3 quarter inches this way. And then you're going to need either your ruler and uh, bone folder, or you're going to need uh, your score uh, board. And you're going to score it um, at two and a quarter inches here, four and a half inches here, six and a half inches here, eight and seven eighths inches here. And then you're going to use your pencil to mark some spots along the top to shape it and there's some cut lines. So the best way to do this is to do it. So here we go. I have my piece of coordinating uh, cardstock already cut out and as I said it's 11 and an eighth inches by 9 and 3 quarters. So first thing we're going to do and I'm going to refer to my template here is I'm going to score it um, at four and a half and at six and a half. So with the 11 and 1 8 inches along the top, pull this down into shot, I'm going to score 4 and a half and 6 and a half. Okay, and that's basically the spine that we're creating there. Next, I'm going to very lightly score a line across this way. So I'm going to turn the paper this way and I'm going to score this line at five and a quarter inches. So five, five and a quarter, right along here. Now along this line you will be cutting this line but for now it's here as a mark and get a good score line in there. Okay, turning the paper back around this way we need to mark the corner pieces that are going to be cut off. So the best way to do that, you could use the scoreboard, but in order for it to show up a little more clearly, I'm going to simply use my ruler and uh, pencil. And so here we go. So along this top edge, I want to go put a mark at two and a half inches. So two and a half inches. And I want another mark at two and a half inches from the other side. So two and a half. Now, from this corner down to here, uh, actually from this where we have a score line, and I'm just going to bend it slightly so you can see that. From that score line up, I want to mark two and three eighths. So I'm just going to turn it around here again so you can see this well. So two and three eighths. So two and one, two, three eighths. And the same on the other side from the score line. And I'm just flipping it around here so I can get a good measurement. So from that score line to there, two and three eighths inches. Okay, so there's two inches. Okay, now I'm just going to lightly draw a line from the points that I've just created on each corner. And I'll be cutting these off. And the same on this side. Sometimes difficult to see where you've put the marks because the paper is so busy they get hidden. There we go. Okay, so I've got the corners marked. And let's just check this for a second. They look a little uneven to me. Nope, they're right. Okay, good. Now, we need to make a score mark again, so I'm going to get out my scoreboard. Put this along the top side. And we have this score line down here that we made in the center. 
I know it's difficult to see. We're going to score it two and a quarter inches. So we don't want to score all the way down. So we're just going to very lightly draw this down until we get to the score line. There's the score line. Now we'll press it a little heavier. So that's at two and a quarter. And we want another one at eight and seven eighths. We're going to do the same thing. Eight and seven eighths is right here. Just lightly bring it down, then hit that score line. And just a little heavier on that. Okay. So we have all of our lines marked. So now we have to do some cutting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off our corners where we mark the pencil line. And the other side. And then we're going to this score line that we have right here in the center where we came up five and a quarter inches. And we're just going to cut it in to this first one. Now, if you want to see these a little better, let's just score or fold on these two score lines. This is the spine, okay, of the box top. So we're just going to cut right into there along that line. You might want to draw the line in with a pencil if, it, if your paper's too busy. And, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to do that because I really can't see that line at all. So just very lightly. There, that's better. just up to the spine and the same on the other side okay that's got that now score everything and using your bone folder give a good crease on all the score lines Okay, now we want to glue, and I'm just going to use my tape runner for this, but I'd suggest probably using something a little heavier than a tape runner. Wet glue would be fine, or score tape would be great. So we're going to be generous here, we want this to hold together. So I'm putting several strips along this inside piece, and then that's going to get folded over. And I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side. So then we have these two pieces, and now this piece, these two pieces are just going to fold in like this. So we're going to put some glue along here, but remember this doesn't go all the way to the edge, so we only want the glue to go about three quarters of the way across each of these. So Again, you want to use a generous amount because you don't want this coming undone. And put a little on the other side as well. And take this, fold it up, and just get it lined up with the seam. And do the same on the other side, lining it up with the seam. And then just lay it down and give it a good press. And now we have our box top, and this is how it works. Here's our card box. And we take the top. And we just fit it in over top of everything that's here. Slide it down. There we go. And then we're going to take our ribbon that we attached earlier. And we're just going to tie this around. Put it this way, it makes it a little easier to tie. Tie that around. 
may want to adjust the length of your ribbon a little bit now once you've got this all together and manipulate it. And there we have it. Our whole box. All sealed up. All ready to go.